Hey guys, what is up? It's Dean Zora here. Today I have a review for you guys of some RC Fibers carbon fiber products. And RC Fibers is a company based out of California and it's a bunch of engineering students who are putting together these fantastic, really high quality products out of carbon fibers. So as you can see, we have pens and a business card holder. So what's really cool about these products is that they're not that expensive and they have a very high quality feel. So without further ado, thank you so much to RC Fibers for sending this out to me. Let's get into this review. If you need help creating your own website, Good Insight has you covered. Go to them for all your website creation needs and they'll be able to hook you up with their easy to use interface, supportive staff, and while you're at it, get a 30 day free trial with this promo code. Enter it in when you're registering and you'll be able to get 30 days free. So let's start this review off by taking a quick look at the card holder. So the card holder, like everything else in this video, is made out of carbon fiber, which means that it's going to be very, very thin. So thin, in fact, that my camera could not even focus on the sides. It was kind of like looking at a piece of paper from the side. It's just not going to work. So what you notice from the start is that it's very glossy. But at the same time, you whip this out in the middle of a business meeting, everyone is going to notice, and it does have a very nice feel to it. So when you look at this thing, you may think it's too thin, but when you're using it, just know that it's going to be a lot stronger than any card holder on the market because, once again, it's made out of carbon fiber. Just take notice of the fact that, yes, it is very glossy, so fingerprints, they're going to be there all the time. Just get used to it. So let me show you guys real quick how this thing works in action. So as you can see, I'm holding around five, six, seven cards in here, and that's about the max that it will go. Uh, I've tried to put more and it just feels like I'm breaking it even though I'm not. Uh, this will not break on you, I guarantee you. It just feels like it's a little bit too hard to get it to expand. With time, you could probably fit around 10 cards in here if you spent a lot of time stretching it, but that's just too much for me. I would rather just put a little bit of cards in here. This is more of an exclusive thing than rather an entire deck of all the business cards you want to hand out to people. But just looking at it here, it is a lot easier to pull cards out of here than it is to put them in. As you can see, I just pulled all the cards out and one card did not make it in when I tried to put it in. So it is a lot easier to pull them out like I said, but you're going to find that with a lot of these newer small wallets, smart wallets, whatever you want to call them, a lot of these newer wallets are easier to pull cards out of them, get them in. So get used to that. Um, but overall, it does work nicely. It keeps the cards in and they're not falling out ever. So I'm just going to try to get this part of the review out of the way because I can no longer find this pen on their website. Uh, if someone does, please put a link in the comment section and I'll add it to the video description. But right now I can't really find a link to this pen. There's no name or price so it's a little bit irrelevant to you guys because you can't even buy it. But just a few words about this. This pen looks nice. It just does not feel nice. I don't like this twisty style of pens. I was never a fan of it. Um, especially now because it's so heavy. And let me just skip to a shot of it writing. Uh, it does not write too well. It is very slow. It feels like I'm, I guess, trying to write on sandpaper. I have to work to write, and I don't really like that feeling. So just for those couple of reasons, I'm not a big fan of this pen. So just getting it out of the way now because you guys can't even buy it, I guess. So let me show you guys the pen that you can actually buy and actually, you know, have a name for. So this is called the Scholar, and it will run you $16 before tax. And this pen, in my opinion, is superior to the pen that I just showed you in many ways. First of all, the ink cartridge. I did a little bit of math by using a ruler, and it is about 1.5 times the length of the other one, which means that this will definitely run you a lot longer. And the fantastic thing about this one is there's really nothing inside of it to lose. There's really not a big spring to lose. It's at the bottom. Uh, unlike the other one, when you took the, the top off of it, the spring was right there. If you do it, you can lose it quickly. So this is a very nicely put together pen. The other thing I have to say, though, is that it's not, you know, it's not the full writing experience that I would want out of my average writing pen. It's a little bit too heavy, like I said with the other one. Um... And it's not that I'm really weak, it's just that, you know, when you hold something this big in your hands, you want it to be light. You could take the cap off, sure, but then it feels like you're holding something that's too short. Once again, this this clip does not work either. I don't know why neither of them work. Um, but let me show you a shot of it writing, because when it writes, it does do a pretty good job. The only thing I have a problem with is, once again, it's a little bit too heavy, and the penmanship when I'm using this pen is not the best. And I can tell you guys for a fact, my writing is not this bad when I use a gel pen or some other kind of pen or pencil. It's just that this pen is so heavy and the ink cartridge is a ballpoint you know, ink cartridge, so it's not the nicest, but it does get the job done and it does look very nice while you do it. So if you're going to use this for, for signatures, for small notes, go for it. If you're using this for note taking in class or for, you know, math or things like that, 
this writes through the paper, so you can't really, you will no longer be able to use both sides of your paper. Um, that's one of the pet peeves I have. I like to use both sides of my paper, so this is not something I'd take to class with me. But other than that, it's a pretty good pen. So from first glance, you probably don't realize which pen is which, and you'll probably won't realize that on the left, there is a BMW rollerball pen, and on the right, there is the Scholar rollerball pen which means that a lot of these pens that carbon fiber making companies are marketing to people actually look the same because a lot of companies draw their inspiration from each other, which means that when you're buying a pen, don't be surprised if the person right next to you, you know, in class at Starbucks or whatever has the exact same looking pen as you. It's probably not from RC Fibers and that person probably paid a lot more for their pen than you did. I remember that if you wanted to buy this BMW pen, it would cost you like 50 something dollars versus the Scholar, which is 16. So not even mentioning the fact that, you know, the BMW pen wrote like crap and did not do so well when writing on paper or trying to write a letter to someone versus the Scholar, which did actually write pretty well. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Don't feel like your pen is unique because a lot of people will have it. Just know that your pen probably writes better and you probably did not get ripped off for it. Uh, so that's basically it for this review, guys. If you enjoyed it, please tell me in the comment section below. And uh, thank you so much to RC Fibers for sending it out to me. I really appreciate being able to review these pens and the card holder. They were great. And I'm definitely going to keep on using them. So uh, yeah, peace, guys.